Hello and welcome to my next flight report here from San Francisco International Airport. It's a really nice and sunny day, but the sunset is starting soon. And tonight I want to fly with British Airways to London Heathrow on board their Airbus A380 in business class. After my flight with Singapore Airlines, this is my second video on the upper deck of an Airbus A380 and also my first long haul flight with British Airways. I'm really excited what British Airways offers on their 9 hour flight across the Atlantic Ocean and now let's fly to London Heathrow. This is the international terminal of San Francisco Airport. I hope my voice is not too bad. I'm a little bit sick right now, but never mind. I want to fly today. The airport offers four terminals. Terminal 1, 2 and 3 are domestic terminals and the international terminal. Nearly every airline uses this check-in area here for their flights to Europe. And I hope my check-in is open already, but I will find it out very soon. British Airways offers a priority check-in for their business class passengers and frequent flyers of the One World Alliance. I want to check in now and then let's head straight to the security control. All right, I'm at the gate area and my flight today is scheduled from gate A6. My first impressions of the A gates are not bad. It is the same like during my Hawaiian Airlines flight here from San Francisco to Maui. You have a lot of comfortable seats and nearly everywhere a beautiful apron view. Unfortunately, the sun is going down and it's getting dark outside. So I think at that time when our 838 arrives, I can't see anything outside. That's really bad, but it is like it is. The whole ground handling here in San Francisco was so great. From check-in here to the gate, it took me less than 10 minutes. 
I mean, there was no one in front of me at the check-in counter and there was no one in front of me at the security control and now I'm here. So I have a lot of time and British Airways offers an own lounge here at San Francisco airport. So I will check out this lounge now. And this is the British Airways lounge. I have to say I'm really impressed by it. It is spacious, you have enough seats for everyone. I mean the A380 offers so many business class seats and here it's not crowded. The lounge offers Wi-Fi, you have a great selection of beverages, hot food, cold food, some sandwiches, some proper meals. but. I don't want to eat anything here, I want to try the food on the plane. So for me now, I just want to enjoy a champagne and wait for my flight. So, cheers! This A380 there right behind these jet bridges is the plane for our flight today. Just arrived from London Heathrow on time. British Airways has 12 Airbus A380 in their fleet. Our plane was delivered in May 2014 to British Airways. That means it is 8 years old now. The cabin comes with 469 seats in total. On the main deck you find the first class, the business class and the economy class. On the upper deck you find the business class again, a premium economy and the economy class again. All in all the business class comes with 97 seats in total and that's a lot. I'm really excited about the cabin and about the seats so let's go on board.
Welcome on board British Airways Airbus A380 on the upper deck. I hope you understand me. They play some boarding music and the boarding is still in progress. The problem is they have just one jet bridge right in front of the business class and all passengers of premium economy and economy class have to walk through our cabin. My seat for the flight today is 59A right over the wings and it's my first time in the opposite direction. The cockpit and the flight direction is there right behind me and I sit in this direction. I'm really excited, that's my first time, I don't know how it is, but that's it for now. And here I have already my welcome drink and the wine list and menu card for our flight today. More about the food on board and the menu card I will tell you later. First I want to enjoy my champagne and say cheers! Boarding is completed, so let's talk a little bit about the seat and what amenities I got during boarding. Here on my left hand side I find the reading light, the remote control for the in-flight entertainment, a USB charger, really important a privacy divider. Normally someone could sit here next to me, but I'm lucky today the seat remains free. Beneath it I find the seat controls, then here I have the TV screen for the in-flight entertainment, a little table, if it wants, there we have it, Good evening, this is the and also, okay, let's talk the captain first, to London okay, now, and beneath the table I find the safety card and some air sickness bags, also a power outlet, another USB charger and a little storage compartment with a water bottle. Then I have here the pillow for our flight with a little British Airways brand. And I'm not really sure if it's a whole bedding or just a blanket, we will see it later. And on my right hand side I have two really huge storage compartments. The white company exclusively for British Airways amenity kit, the menu card for our flight today and the headphones. That's it and now let's start the engines and go to London Heathrow. Merely make a strive 
We are airborne and I have to say it's not so bad to sit in the opposite direction. The takeoff was really smooth. The A380 is so quiet and I had great views out of the window. However, it is a night flight so the cabin crew will start with their service very soon. They came around already and... Thank you. Okay, first we got our hot towel. Okay, normally I wanted to say the cabin crew came around already and got our food order. On this flight we get two meals, one dinner after our takeoff in San Francisco and one breakfast prior our arrival in London Heathrow. The dinner consists of starter, main course and cheese and dessert. For starter you can choose between brie, beef, brazola, burrata or broccoli and cheddar soup and for the main course roasted beef short rib, honey roasted salmon or vegetable korma. I choose the roasted beef short rib today and then as a dessert caramel mousse, fresh seasonal fruit and banana caramel bread pudding. Here it sounds really great and then the breakfast here yeah, it's nearly the same every time. So some scrambled eggs, some fruit, a selection of breads and jam and so on and so on. So I'm really excited about the food and the beverages today. For beverages this menu card offers champagne, two white wines, two red wines and that's it for now. Before the cabin crew is starting with their service and the cabin is getting dark, it is a night flight, I want to take a look inside the amenity kit. This one here is made by the White Company for British Airways. It looks really nice, a little bit small, but let's take a look inside. Okay, and inside I have some Earplugs are really important for a night flight and a good sleep. A little the white company card. A black pen. Some cream. And the next one looks pretty the same. There we have some lip balm. Toothbrush and toothpaste. And relax lavender. Okay, I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe something to smell. Who knows? Ooh. It really smells like lavender. Okay, and there we have the eye shades. Wow, they look really comfortable. Oh, 
great and a pair of socks i think that's it yeah that's it all in all a great amenity kit and it looks like high quality so british airways thumbs up for this amenity kit The cabin crew started with their service already and there is a German flight attendant here on board. That's really awesome and great for me. But here I got my first glass champagne and also some nuts. Yeah, I say cheers now and hopefully of a really great flight. There I have my starter for the flight. I choose the brief brazola with some cheese, some olives, a little salad and a warm bread with some butter. It looks really delicious and now it's time to try. Okay, I mean it is just a small cold starter, but the beef together with the cheese is really delicious. I'm not really sure if it was so smart to take two times beef, beef as a starter and beef as the main course, but we will see. We are just an hour in the air and there is my main course already. Today I choose the roasted beef short rib with some carrots and potatoes. It looks really tasty but it is not so easy to cook beef inside an airplane. So let's find out if British Airways can cook beef inside an airplane. Yeah, they can. It is really delicious. So, good job British Airways. Oh wow, the main course, the beef was really great. I'm pretty full, but I think there is even a little bit of space for dessert and maybe caramel mousse is the right choice for me. So let's try it.
oh yeah, this is the right dessert for me. It's so sweet and I like caramel every time. Just awesome. Alright, the dinner on our flight to London Heathrow is done and it was so tasty. British Airways made a really great job. I'm pretty sure the cabin is getting dark soon and many passengers want to sleep. But first I want to talk about the in-flight Wi-Fi. This A380 is equipped with Wi-Fi and if you want to use the internet, you have to connect to the British Airways Wi-Fi and open your browser. As a business class passenger, you can purchase two different packages. Only passengers in first class have complimentary Wi-Fi. Here in business class you have to pay for it. And you can choose between the Bros and Scream package from four British pound 99 or the messaging package from two British pound 99. The messaging package comes with one hour for two pound 99 like I said and the whole flight for £4.99. I think the prices for the whole flight £4.99 just for messaging use WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger and what else is a great price. It is not too expensive and if you want to, to use the stream package 1 hour £4.99, 4 hours £11.99 and the entire flight £19.99. If you want to use it, the prices are okay. I think so. If I compare them with other airlines like American Airlines, Lufthansa, the prices are really great. So, But it is a night flight. I want to sleep, so I don't need the Wi-Fi. At this I got some chocolates I have to say the cabin crew on this flight is really really friendly and I'm so impressed by the service but for now before I go to sleep I will enjoy my chocolates And this is one of the business class lavatories here on board. There are two business class lavatories right in the front of the upper deck and one more between both cabins. And look how spacious it is. That's unbelievable great. You definitely have enough space to change your clothes. And also it is clean, it looks modern. I'm really impressed by this lavatory. You don't have too many amenities, but British Airways offers a great amenity kit, so that's fine. I find here just some tissues. And here we have soap, soap and hand lotion. That's it. I think I will try to catch some sleep now. I'm really tired. It is a nine hour flight and then I will see you in the morning or during the second service.
Welcome back and a good morning. I slept pretty well here inside this bed. I think about four hours. It is a 180 degrees live flat bed and the remaining flight time is now about two hours. We are still flying across the Atlantic Ocean so I think time to wake up. I just got up a few minutes ago and here is already the first round of my breakfast. I got some fresh fruits, some muesli, a croissant, jam, butter and a fresh orange juice. It looks really delicious so let's give it a try. Okay, to be honest, muesli is not my first choice for breakfast, but the fresh fruits, everything together is really delicious. And this was just a starter, later we get a hot breakfast also, that's awesome. And there is our second round already, a hot breakfast with some scrambled eggs, a sausage, bacon, mushrooms, tomatoes. I'm not really sure how much I want to eat, I'm pretty full already, but time to try it. I really have enough cutlery now for the next five or six flights. Oh wow, the scrambled eggs are salty enough and all in all it was a great breakfast I have to say the same like during the dinner, great job. After our breakfast and now with a little bit more light let me show you this seat and all the seat functions. It is a 180 degrees live flat bed but not their latest business class seat. In other airplanes British Airways is offering already their new club suite but not inside the A380. Here on my left hand side I have all the buttons and also the privacy divider.
there it is. And now let's turn this seat into a flat bed. Okay, but that's not all. Now I have to turn the camera and there I have the footrest. To use the footrest you have to latch it here and then you can drop it down. All right, and that's British Airways flatbed here inside their A380. Also, they provide a little bedding then a blanket and a really comfy pillow. Before we start our descent into London Heathrow, let's talk a little bit about the infill entertainment. I have to say, these headphones are noise cancelling, but I saw better ones even in premium economy with Finnair or with Austrian Airlines, but all in all, it is okay. On my left hand side, I have the remote control for the infill entertainment. There it is, and in front of me I have the TV screen. This TV screen offers a touchscreen function, but to be honest, it is rather small, so it's better to use this remote control. The in flight entertainment here on board of British Airways Business Class is really great. I found a lot of great movies which I want to watch, but I don't have enough time for it. They offer some latest Hollywood movies, about 50 movies and also so many movies in different languages. 91 movies in German, 92 movies in French. That's unbelievable great. Also some Hollywood classics and TV series and games and music. Just wow, this inflight entertainment here on board of British Airways business class is amazing. Yeah, and for me, I really like the flight map. The flight map offers me some latest information about the flight, the remaining flight time, the high of the plane, the location of the plane and so on and so on. All in all, I wish this was a day flight and then I had enough time to watch some movies but yeah, it was a night flight and I had a little nap. Unfortunately, this was my flight with British Airways already, restarted our descent into London Heathrow and like I said many times, the best flights are too short every time. The flight time today was about 9 hours and still too short. Yeah, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the views out of the window and my summary of this flight you will hear on the ground in London Heathrow. Just begun. We will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back.
Finally, a few hours later, welcome from Dublin Airport. I had already my connecting flight from London Heathrow to Dublin and the airport in London was simply too crowded. There were too many people and the lounge, the British Airways lounge there was also too crowded. So I will tell you here now my summary of the flight with British Airways on board their Airbus A380. The A380 is such a great plane. It is so quiet and so unique. I hope this plane is flying for many, many years. Yeah, and the service on board, the cabin crew was so lovely. The food was great. The catering of British Airways is just insane. And the cabin, okay, it's not their latest business class heat, but it was totally fine. I had enough sleep. It was comfortable and I hope I get the chance to try their new club suite also. So that's it for now. I hope you liked my videos. If you like my videos, you can subscribe my channel. I hope to see you next time and now bye bye from Dublin.